Hey guys, Brian Osborne here from Answers in Genesis. Hope you're doing well. And right now I'm at the London Bridge in Australia. Actually off the southern coast of Australia, off the Great Ocean Road. It's a geological formation you see behind me. Really it's just a sight to behold. The whole thing is absolutely beautiful. You see the London Bridge, of course the water crashing in. It's a crowd today, lots of people coming to see this amazing site. I'll kind of pull around, you see some of the people, but also the water coming in, the cliff on the other coastline, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful place. As we look at this, it's kind of neat to learn about the history of this. This structure behind me called the London Bridge, it's kind of the London Arch now. It used to be a lot bigger. It used to be a bridge, if you will, because above my head in the video, it used to be connected. But years ago, back in 1990, uh, because of erosion, uh, that part of the bridge gave way, it collapsed, and now it's the London Arch. And basically what you have here is the erosion against these geological features in the water. It is constant, and they lack a really good foundation, and these features continually fall. Whether it's here, we've got a, something called the Twelve Apostles down the road from here, geological features in the water, these individual islands that are kind of tall, the water comes in and washes the foundation away, and they, sh they collapse over time. And of course there's a direct correlation to that, to what we see in our lessons over the past 10 lessons as we review here in this particular lesson. Looking back in these lessons, we looked at where God has warned Israel, He's warned Judah against turning away from Him, against building their lives and their thinking of anything other than Him as their solid rock foundation because God is the only true foundation that will hold against the attacks of our age and the foundation God requires us to hold to. He warns them not to fall away from that. Don't turn away from me, stay there, but of course eventually both Israel and Judah turn away from God in idolatry, rebel against Him, and He brings judgment on them. We saw that in these particular lessons because they abandoned the foundation of God and His Word as their authority. And also, we see the other end of the spectrum also in these lessons where we see with good kings like Josiah or Hezekiah or godly men like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, as they are leading either in the case of Josiah and Hezekiah, leading their people in a godly way by standing on God's Word, following after God, staying on the firm foundation that is Him and His Word. They're leading a godly way and God preserves them and they stay strong because of that. Or like with Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we see that they're in a foreign land and even in this foreign land, in a foreign context, they're still standing strong on God's Word and trusting in God. And as a result, He upholds them. and They don't fall away. And the only way to not fall away is to have a good foundation. Now the foundation for this structure behind me and others it's not good enough. The waves that keep coming crashing in, it road to the way. In a similar way, if our foundation is anything other than God and His Word, we will give way. As we think about the application of all this to our lives today, as we live for Christ in the cultures we live in today, we must recognize, and we do recognize, the Christian worldview, God's Word is under attack today. The culture is constantly crashing into us, trying to road away our foundation to undermine our foundation, undermine the foundation of the authority of the Word of God. And if we have our thinking built on anything other than the rock that is God's Word, because only God's Word would not be eroded by the attacks of the enemy. If our foundation is built on anything less than the Word of God and God Himself, our foundation will give way and will collapse. Just like with Israel, just like with Judah, and like as a visual, the London Bridge behind me. So as we think about this, let's be sure that we as Christians are standing firm on the Word of God. I recognize that the only way to influence this culture for Christ is by standing on the authority of God's Word. It will never influence this culture for Christ if we abandon the authority of God's Word. We will only do it by standing on the rock that is God's Word. It's then that we won't fall away. We can be the light He has called us to be. You guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later on.